Beneath the sun-drenched streets of Naples and the calm blue waters of the Bay of Pozzuoli lies a geological force with the potential to change the course of history. Compi Flagre, one of the most dangerous supervolcanoes on Earth, is showing unsettling signs of reawakening after centuries of uneasy slumber. In just the past two years, relentless earthquake swarms have rattled the region. The ground has risen by over a meter in places, and volcanic gases have begun seeping ominously from cracks in the Earth's crust. For the three million people living in its shadow, unease is rapidly giving way to fear. Few grasp the true scale of destruction this restless giant could unleash. Not just on southern Italy, but across the globe. With each tremor and centimeter of uplift, the scientific community's concern grows louder and more urgent. Now, as experts monitor the shifting Earth and intensifying seismic swarms, one chilling question looms. Is Europe's deadliest supervolcano on the brink of awakening? And if so, what devastation could it bring? Let's find out. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Compi Flegre is a massive caldera located under and around the Bay of Naples. Unlike classic volcanoes with towering cones like nearby Mount Vesuvius, Compi Flegre is largely hidden in plain sight. Its crater, spanning over 13 kilometers in diameter, Beneath the seemingly placid towns of Pozzuoli, Bacoli, and parts of Naples lies one of the most powerful volcanic systems in Europe. It is designated as a supervolcano because of its potential to produce an eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of 8, the highest on the scale. Such eruptions eject over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, more than 100 times the volume released by Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. The consequences of such an event would be catastrophic, with the potential to disrupt global climate, devastate agriculture, and affect millions of lives far beyond the immediate blast zone. The Compi Flegre Caldera is a complex and evolving geological system. It was formed by two major explosive eruptions, the Campanian Inimbrite eruption, around 39,000 years ago, and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption, around 15,000 years ago. These explosions released an enormous volume of magma that the ground above collapsed, forming a vast sunken basin that now constitutes the caldera. Beneath the surface, a vast pressurized magma chamber interacts with hydrothermal systems and fault lines. Over time, the movement of fluids and magma causes the ground to rise and fall. This constant flexing has weakened the caldera's crust, creating a scenario in which even small changes in pressure could trigger a rupture. Though it has not erupted on this scale in modern history, Compi Flagre's past has proven it is capable of such devastation, placing it on the short list of the world's most dangerous volcanic threats. Of all the periods of unrest Compi Flagre has experienced, the years 2023 to 2025 mark its most active and alarming phase in modern history. Scientists have recorded an intense surge in seismicity, ground uplift, and gas emissions, strong indicators of mounting subterranean pressure. In 2023 alone, over 3,000 earthquakes struck the region, with many occurring at shallow depths of less than 3 kilometers. Among them was a notable 4.2 magnitude earthquake in September 2024, centered near the town of Pozzuoli, directly above the caldera's most volatile zone. This event marked the peak of an intense seismic swarm triggering the most powerful earthquake sequence in over 40 years, causing structural damage, cracking roads and homes, and forcing the closure of schools and public spaces across the region. Thousands of residents were displaced, spending nights in cars or relocating to emergency shelters. Civil protection officials reported structural damage in Pozzuoli, Bacoli, and parts of western Naples. Business operations were disrupted, and public fear grew rapidly. The unrest has continued into 2025, with a significant escalation in seismic activity. On March 13, 2025, a 4.4 magnitude earthquake struck between Pozzuoli and the Bagnoli district of Naples, causing structural damage and minor injuries. This was followed by a 3.9 magnitude quake on March 15, further unsettling the region. The seismic activity persisted into May, 
culminating in another 4.4 magnitude earthquake on May 13th, which led to the declaration of a state of emergency in the Campi Flegrei area. These events have intensified concerns among scientists, who warn that the volcano is exhibiting signs of sustained pressure, with no signs of slowing. The ground in Pozzuoli continues to rise at a rate of over 1.5 centimeters per month, a symptom of deep magmatic pressure. Gas emissions have also increased, raising concern that magma may be moving closer to the surface. Alarmingly, this unrest mirrors the exact warning signs that preceded the 1538 Monte Nuovo eruption. But now, with greater intensity, broader impact, and far more people at risk. Scientists warn that the sustained nature of this activity suggests the caldera is entering a critical phase, and that vigilance is more necessary than ever. Scientists believe that the underlying conditions are now more volatile than ever. A pivotal 2023 study published in Nature Communications revealed that the crust beneath Campi Flegre is becoming weaker and more prone to fracturing. The repeated uplift and depressurization cycles have essentially fractured the rock layers, allowing magma to move more easily and pressurize the system. The cracks and weakening of the caldera lid mean that it now takes less pressure to trigger an eruption. Volcanologists describe the situation as a boiling pot with a thinning lid. The more pressure that accumulates, the more likely the lid is to break. Gas emissions, particularly sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, have also spiked, indicating that magma is likely rising closer to the surface. Furthermore, many of the earthquakes are shallow, suggesting that pressurized fluids or magma are interacting with the crust just kilometers below the surface. This is a major red flag. If the current pattern of ground uplift and seismic activity continues or intensifies, it could lead to several possible outcomes, ranging from a phreatic explosion, driven by superheated steam but still hazardous, to a moderate eruption similar to the one in 1538. In the worst case scenario, a VEI 6 to 7 eruption will unleash devastation across southern Italy and trigger far reaching global consequences. As for when the volcano could erupt, the timeline remains deeply uncertain. Compi Flegre could erupt in months, years, or even decades, but the probability of eruption is rising, and the system appears to be approaching a critical threshold. The Italian government, through the Italian Civil Protection Department and the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, has been monitoring Compi Flegre for decades. Following the 2024 seismic swarms, authorities elevated the volcano's alert level from green to yellow, signaling enhanced risk. Thousands of sensors measure ground deformation, gas emissions, and seismic waves. Civil protection protocols are in place, and evacuation plans for up to 500,000 people have been drafted. Regular drills are conducted with local municipalities. However, the sheer scale of a potential mega-eruption makes these plans hard to execute in real time. Traffic congestion, panic, and misinformation could hamper efforts. Some experts have advocated for preemptive relocation incentives or urban planning reforms to reduce population density in high-risk zones. Others call for more aggressive international cooperation, recognizing that a Campi Flegre eruption would have ripple effects far beyond Italy. The scientific community is largely unified in viewing Campi Flegre as Europe's most dangerous volcano, and research efforts are ongoing across institutions in Italy, UK, USA, and Germany. Key initiatives include the Campi Flegre Deep Drilling Project, which investigates underground hydrothermal and magmatic systems, satellite interferometry to monitor ground deformation, and gas isotope studies to trace magma movement. While some researchers warn that public awareness lags behind the growing risk, others caution against inciting panic given the uncertainty of timelines. Still, one thing is clear. The caldera's geological state is deteriorating, and preparedness must now match the urgency of the science. Campi Flegre is a ticking time bomb beneath one of Europe's most historic and densely populated regions. 
While an eruption is not guaranteed in the immediate future, the combination of recent seismic activity, weakening crustal structures, and mounting gas emissions paint a deeply concerning picture. This is not a call for panic, but a call for preparedness. Governments must strengthen contingency plans. Scientists must accelerate research and public education. And the world must understand that in our era of climate risks and geopolitical instability, a supervolcanic eruption could be the next black swan event. In the end, Compi Flegre teaches us a sobering lesson. The Earth is dynamic, and its power is immense. Whether we respond with foresight or regret is a decision we must make while there is still time. Do you think the world is prepared for an eruption of this scale? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.